easiest way to do this. So we want to start. Um, and this is where we go. Skip only red text. Okay, so it'll skip the whole beginning for us. So then we go boop 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 boop. Oh, I'm a person. These are all the boys. These are all the boys. Okay. So, we have the barbarian prince Kuya. We have uh, this tiny prince, but this little guy back here, his caretaker, Mr. Uh, Drifty, Drifty Dreamboat, and uh, the the perfect tiny man. He is probably actually tiny. So. Who are we feeling? This guy is like perfect and nice in every way. That, this is these are the character synopses. Um, this is like a spoiled little brat, uh, but he has a caretaker, and this guy looks rad, and that's all we know about him. And this guy is Beast Prince of the Moon Forest. So his people are like barbarian-y. Um, well, and that's that's what we think we know about them though. Um, sorry, I need to disable my preview. That's what we think we know about them. So. <laughs> okay. I am now looking at the results. And now we have music back. Rip Faulkner, you'll never know love. <laughs> All right, I'll wait a little bit longer so people can get their votes in. I wish the music wouldn't cut out. I'm going to tweet, too, um, real quick. I'll go here um, so it doesn't look super weird that there's no music. Cool. Boop, 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 boop. Cool. You will never know love. Oh, oh. All right, I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. We've now switched the lead. Uh, just saying, if you're just lurking, you can hit that little straw poll link and it won't ask you to log into anything or anything like that. I don't know who you are. You maintain your anonymity. Oh man. Oh man. Guys, the tides are changing. It's changing. IRL watching straw polling. <laughs> Alright, I'll go back to the screen. Okay. I mean, we're obviously between these two. <laughs> <laughs> Someone voted for Faulkner. Oh. <laughs> I missed him, Emma. What's wrong with Faulkner? Nothing. He's just pretty and perfect. And that's all we know about him. The other guys just seem interesting. More interesting. <laughs> um, he's also probably tiny. Because he's a Prince of Fae. All right. Well, it looks like we're going for a uh, little prince, Elgandir, and his caretaker. Let's do this. I gather my supplies together and arrange for a mountain donkey to carry the little prince and his effects. As soon as that's all taken care of, I let the prince's caretaker know I'm ready to go. All right. All right. We need a voice. We need a voice. Oh, and I gotta, gotta do this. Boop. Okay. I, I, 
I feel like as me, I'm just not gonna be able to do the voice of Dale. I don't think I could keep that up for a whole for a whole dating sim. What's Dizzle is Discord? Well, people in chat can answer that. Uh, it's just it's just a chat room for people who want to hang out here. If you like hanging out here, you might like hanging out there too. Soldier seventy six voice. I haven't I haven't played that much Overwatch. I'm also a lady. It's tough, guys. <laughs> um. Oh God. I I knew the vote was gonna go this way, <laughs> so I really should have, like, thought about it. Make him sound like a handsome boy. <laughs> this is the problem. I don't even know if a voice is gonna come out. I can't, I can't, I can't do, <laughs> I don't think I could keep Dale up for an hour. <laughs> I also don't want to date Dale. <laughs> I don't know what any of that means. All right, all right, just do it, just do it. Good, whoa, that was not a voice. Good, awfully decent of you to supply us. Got my flask and my smokes. I'm ready to hit the road. That's not, uh, that's not all you brought, is it? Huh, of course not. Also got my deck of cards, in case we got time that needs killing. He winks at me. Is he just fooling around or what? I'm so bad at pe knowing if people are kidding. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's always good to be prepared, right? For some folks, me, I prefer to just wing it. Speaking of which, you can call me Crow. It's the name I like best these days. <laughs> was my description of a voice for Nick too descriptive? Was it too good? <laughs> I think it was. I think it was Flower Ducky. Crow, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Rosemary. So, uh, where's the prince? Still sleeping in, most likely. Lazy little... He proceeds to call Prince Algandir a word that I can't repeat in good conscience. C Crow, should you really be talking about him that way? <laughs> Sweet lady, if you knew half the trouble he gets up to, you'd agree it's... <laughs> that's too kind a word. <laughs> We're already friggin <laughs> He's not doing so hot so far <laughs> This guy looks like a guy who just showed up at a LARP event and put a cape on over his work clothes He super does He was just like, uh, didn't you see the scar I put on my face? That like took a really long time So I only had time to put a cape on like, Jesus Christ, I have a crow. What do you want from me? Um, fight the boy. Who's the boy? Is he the boy or is the prince the boy? I mean, it is wildly inappropriate to talk about royalty like that. <laughs> but we think he's cute. It is definitely a fake crow wired to his shoulder, I agree. All right, see you later, Rockfish. Thanks for coming by. For his option? Really? Really? Heck, royalty. I mean, it's true. Heck. So, Juicebox, you're saying fight him. So, you're saying this one. Maybe you're right. I'm just not used to it. Maybe you're right, but don't say to his fucking face. Um. All right, y'all aren't helping, so you're right. I'm just gonna use that. Cause I don't feel like you have to agree with them all the time. Fuck it. Sorry, I'm just not used to hearing language like that. It caught me off guard. We don't talk that way down on the farm. Farm girl, eh? Might have guessed you got strong shoulders. Uh, oh, do I? I mean, I don't know. I guess I do work out a lot. 
I can tell, like me, good at lifting spirits and not much else. We're gonna be real glad to have you along, darling, I can tell. Manly's boy has a high pitched voice. Yeah, I could have done that. That's that's for the barbarian guy. <laughs> when we play the barbarian guy, I'll do like the high pitched voice. I do not like this boy. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Do you really think so? Well, of course I'll do my best. God, I almost forgot what we were even talking about. You were saying you don't much care for my language. Oh, that. Well, I'm sure I'll get used to it. Listen, if you're afraid I ain't taking this seriously, sorry I gave you that impression. I promise. I care about a little fella like he was my own flesh and blood. Just trying to have a little fun while I'm out here, you know? We find out that he's, like, also a prince. <laughs> but he, he walked away from the throne because he was too cool. I'm calling the shots. I'm calling the shots. He's trying to be a bit of a doofus, isn't he? Yeah, he's a little muddy on his character. Fun, but it's a deadly dangerous mountain full of danger. And deadliness and bad stuff. We'll be fine. I got a good feeling about this. Drifter is definitely cowboy in town. Oh god. I am not confident in my ability to maintain an affected speech for an hour. I will practice. I will practice for all of you. <laughs> Besides, you look the kind of do-gooder who could take care of a scoundrel like me. And him. <laughs> now you're calling the king's son a scoundrel. What that old king don't know won't hurt him, but I'll watch my language if it makes you feel better. I mean, you are kind of doing it already. Okay, cool. I'll continue doing what I'm doing. <laughs> so it's fine. You got a hell of a smile. Don't want to be the, ugh, don't want to be the one making it go away. Oh, uh, thank you. Does he talk like this to all the ladies? Now I've got a chance to ask because the little prince arrives from his room. He's carrying a box of books and toys and doesn't look pleased. These are mine. Don't touch them. Let's go already. I'm bored. What'd I tell you? He's such a little scamp. Hi there, Prince Legandier. My name's Rosemary. I bet we're gonna be great friends. Now don't you worry, because the path across Mount Needle may be tough, but I've sworn to protect you. And so I will. Come on now, and it's a nice lady when she's talking to you. Shut up, you love my dad. Can't argue with that. Sorry, I tried. Um, cool. And with that inspiring start, our journey begins. John Marston. The guy writes me John Marston. Nice. I like, I like John Marston. Hairspray, it's a good look. Way up the mountain. The way up the mountain is pretty easy so far, and it isn't snowing much yet. I'll take that as a good sign. Crow and I walk side by side, and the prince rides his mountain donkey, which follows Crow obediently. Pretty good going so far, huh, Prince? We could have asked for better weather, that's for sure. Yeah. Come to think of it, I never asked why you're taking this path in the first place. Oh, the Prince has just been out on one of his little jaunts. He's gotta be back in Starlight City in time for his birthday in a few days. That doesn't really answer my question. And what does he mean by a little jaunt? The Prince is like five or something. I guess I just don't understand royal stuff. What's happening? I had to go pick a secret Santa. Um. We're romancing the drifter, uh, and we got a little snot-nosed kid with us. I'm gonna be wishing for this kid's death before this is over, aren't I? Maybe. Hear that, little fella? Your birthday's <laughs> birthday's gonna be a pretty big deal. The king's gonna fill the whole city with light in your honor. Not that you'll ever appreciate it. Shut up, I don't care. What do you know about daddy anyway? Not a whole lot, to be honest doesn't matter. Come on, enough with the sour face. I don't remember being this bratty at your age. Uh, let's play a game. Yeah, that's it. A fun game. Like, uh, I spy with my little eye. Something white. Is it snow? Yes. That wasn't a very good game. Sorry. I got it. How about a magic trick? As soon as he hears the word magic, Prince Legandier's face lights up. He glares at Crow with an intense, furious interest. Shelby, Shelby. 
Crow steps closer to him, a sly look in his eyes, moving slowly to draw out the tension of the moment. It seems you didn't wash well enough, little prince. You got something behind your ears. What? That's not true. It's the servant's job to wash me anyway. Without another word, Crow pulls a huge red rose, thorny stem and all, out from behind the prince's ear. Wait, where did that come from? How did he do that? A flower that big? I'm sure I would have seen where he pulled it from. And you'd think the petals would be at least a little crooked from being hidden up a sleeve, but they look smooth and fresh and sparkle with perfect dewdrops. <laughs> That's amazing. The prince, however, seems less impressed than I am. That's not real magic, stupid. That's just silly tricks. The gestures of the palace do that. I've seen it a billion times. You sure it's not real? Maybe I ought to call up the royal guard and have them throw me in the dungeon just in case. Ugh. He turns his back on Cronai and immediately retrieves a book from his basket of possessions. You're boring. I'm reading my story now. Everyone go away. <laughs> well, you heard the man. He's certainly a handful. I warned you. Not too good with kids, I take it. I should be. I grew up with lots of little brothers and sisters. I like kids. Usually they like me. Don't know what I'm doing wrong with this one. Don't worry too much. I have a feeling he likes you plenty somewhere deep down. Crow hands the rose smoothly to me. For you, darling. Uh, oh, thank you. It's beautiful. It really is. Against the snow and the cold sky, the rich red petals glow with warmth and beauty. I've never seen a color so striking. By the way, what you said about the royal guard... You couldn't really be thrown in a dungeon for doing tricks like these, right? If they thought it was real magic, I could. It's the way the wind is blown in the southern kingdom these days. The old king hates magic. Afraid of it, maybe. Using spells can get you fined, locked up a few months. But it's going to get worse in the coming years, I reckon. Lucky for me, it's all just parlor tricks. Huh, <laughs> that's a relief. So how'd you do that anyway? It's like sleight of hand or something, right? He's silent for a moment, but there's a smile in his eyes. Now, if I went and told you all my secrets, I'd lose my air of mystery. What would I have left to seduce you? S seduce I clutch the rose tight to my chest and my face grows hot, but Crow winks at me, like we're sharing a little joke. He's gotta just be kidding, right? It's hard to get a good read on him. He has a twisty sort of nature. <laughs> I may not like this boy, but I admit this boy is very smooth. Yes, and he is definitely a wizard. <laughs> He's, he's definitely real magic. Am I even sure that I can trust him? Crow keeps on walking ahead, whistling a jaunty tune. The donkey trods off after him, with the prince safely in tow. I stay behind for a moment. I check on the rose, wondering how long it can last without water. And it's only then that I notice it's somehow just gone. My hand is still clasped tight around what I thought was the stem, but there's nothing there. I glance around to see if it's fallen or blown away. There's not a trace of red in all that snow. If the rose did fall, it's lost for good. Wouldn't I have felt that happen, though? How strange. Devil magic. No, I'm being silly. I must have dropped it. Honestly, I'd lose my head if it weren't screwed on. It's a bit disheartening to lose such a beautiful gift, but there's nothing to do but keep moving. Magic is banned. Oh, yeah. For a minute, that chimed in, and I was like, it's the final countdown. <laughs> magic boy. You'd think the dragon man was magic boy. We did all the magic boys. We've been walking for hours. The road gets a bit steeper, the going a little harder. The prince seems happy, at least, riding his donkey, reading his stories, and ignoring everything else. Making it across Mount Needle with a child is going to be tough, and I'll have to take it more slowly and carefully than I usually would. Crow, for his part, doesn't seem too concerned. I'm not sure how I feel about that. So, uh, what's your story, Crow? I mean, you're probably more than just a babysitter, right? Sure. There's not much to say about it. I go here and there, this and that. Nothing too interesting. Live out of my hat sometimes. You know how it is, don't you? You're a fellow wanderer, I can tell. You really think so? Sure. Got the look about you, stars in your eyes, quite literally right now. Wind in your hair, and even when you're standing still. <laughs> you're funny. Who says I'm kidding? Oh, gosh, I don't know. 
Never really thought of myself that way before. A wanderer, huh? I guess that's kind of true. It sounds romantic. What I really want is to be a knight, though. I mean a real knight. Huh. Got your heart set on working for the royals, do you? Uh... I think it's about more than that. I think we just want to be cool Naito. And help the people. I think we want to help the people. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go wait for chat. I'll wait a little bit. Oh, just a little bit. No, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> go with your heart, thanks. I'm not sure, don't get me wrong. I'd love to meet a real knight. I mean, who 